Number 35 says f of x is equal to the square root of x squared minus 1. g of x says, this, uh, or the value of g of x is the square root of x minus 1. They want to know what is the expression represents f of x over g of x, where x is greater than, z is greater than 1, which is because if the dough, if it, you had a anything less than 1 here, you wouldn't get that square root of 0 that you would need. It wouldn't work. So um, it's got to be greater than 1. And if it was 1 itself, then you would end up getting um, a 0 there, and you can't divide by 0. So let's just look at them. Square root of x squared minus 1 over the square root of x minus 1. I'm going to factor this out because it's squares, right? x squared and 1 are both squares, and there's a negative in the middle. So I can reevaluate this question as the square root of x minus 1 times x plus 1. Because then I'd have x squared minus 1x plus 1x, which would cancel out the middle term, and then negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. So that's difference of squares. And now I can, since I'm dividing, I can look at this and think of like what I have on the top and the bottom, because 5 divided by 5 is just 1. Well, I have x minus 1 on both the top and the bottom. So I look at what I have left, the square root of x plus 1. So the answer is C. Also, if your calculator is not set to 0, um, you could probably try just plugging in the answers and figuring out which one of them answer choices match if you're that type. Just by, uh, say, say I was doing this, if I could find the calculator that I have here, you might be able to try this method if you like. Go in and do uh, a fraction, and you're going to do the square root of, by the way, I forgot to check to see if x is equal to 0. It's not. As long as it's not equal to 0, you're in good shape. In fact, it has to be greater than 1. So you could go in and type in a fraction. You just do the square root of x squared minus 1 over the square root of x minus 1, which is exactly what it would look like. I'm going to hit Enter. And then I could try my answer choices. This is the I lost my mind, what am I doing solution, by the way. See how you get 3.3166 for the answer that I picked? Well, it's the same thing that you get up here. So you could try tagging it in and seeing which answer gives you the correct answer. That's the oh crap, I forgot what I'm doing solution. As long as only one matches, you're in good shape. So you can try that too. But this isn't really a difficult problem to work out as long as you can factor or use the uh, difference of squares.